Hello again. Now, Treasury is launching the second phase of the SA to Us Inclusive Economic Development Program. This initiative aims to support policies to promote economic transformation across Southern Africa. It's a collaboration with the United Nations and various governmental and research organizations. The UK's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office has now also joined. Well, let's discuss this initiative with Mare Lebrand, who is one of the research leads on this program. Mare, good afternoon, and thank you very much for your time here on ENC. How important is this program that's now going into its second phase? Well, it's particularly important because it's providing evidence into uh, Operation Vulandlela, uh, into uh, government's attempts to make sure that they both get growth going, but make sure that growth is is inclusive of our of all in our society, in our economy, and in the broader society. Why is it important that researchers and policy makers actually collaborate? Well, if you take the example of some of the SA tied work from the first phase, which was to put the data together to really assess our social policies and our labor market policies and our macroeconomic policies, and then uh, COVID arrived. And within a few weeks, between the presidency and the treasury and, and social development, this, this country needed to put some emergency relief policies in place. And we could draw on collectively, this is the partnership that you are asking about, draw on these data that we would put together, but, but also the analysis and, and work together to design simple, and implementable policies that could be put in place that put money in the hands of, of South Africans who were desperately in need. So that's a good example uh, that was thrust upon us by an emergency. But it was fortuitous that we'd spent the first phase of SA Tide doing this, putting these things in place. And so looking forward now, uh, the President is pushing on and Treasury are pushing on to confront our, our structural constraints in our economy and also in our society as an emergency. This, you know, this is not, uh, we can't dally over this. And, um, and we need the research to support that, but the, we also need it to be done in a partnership so that there's a, a very live discussion between what the researchers and what the research is saying and the modeling and the people inside the policy community across government departments that are actually going to lean on this to implement policy. Researchers don't make policy, but in this moment, they can play a very useful role in informing the policy process and even informing the social processes in NEDLAC, for example, around which government talks to its social partners, but surely we need an evidence base for that discussion to facilitate good decision making. Well, this is phase two, as you've referred uh, to what happened in phase one. And I'm just wondering, with these kind of discussions and networking that's happening amongst everybody involved in policy processes and the participating organizations, th that gap that we see, I mean, we keep on hearing that South Africa's got uh, the best constitution in the world, for example. It's got good policies in place, got le good legislation in place. But implementation is failing us. Just the other day, I was talking to the deputy chairperson of the National Development uh, uh, Planning, the National Planning Commission, and implementation is like where it all fails. Do you think the second phase of this program will assist with, with getting, making sure that the policymakers get the right stuff implemented? Uh, that's a tough uh, question to ask. Um, from the researcher side, because obviously what the part, part of the second phase is actually research on implementation systems and effective delivery systems in government. That's well, that's good to hear. That's, that's good to hear. So, sorry to come in there, Mr. Labour. That's good to hear that part of this phase is going to be doing research about how do we get effective implementation. Uh, how is that going to be, to be done, your research? 
No, so that, that I can't talk with any expertise about that type of research. Uh, the, the, the hallmark of SA Tide really is that we organize our research streams uh, and, and lead them by, by people who really do know what they're talking about in the areas that they work. Um, so all I can say about about that that sort of research about implementation is um, is that it will be partnered by the people in the national treasury who are actually at the heart of Operation Vul and Leila, um, with working with research leads that uh, that can draw on the best practice around the world and bring it to bear um, and generate research from South African researchers as well and you know and uh, for example municipal officials have also been doing research on why they why they're battling with the interface with national government they've got a lot to say and one that's also research to to collate that evidence and feed it back in um, okay the, the work that yeah no, thank you very much for clarifying. Yeah, thank you for your answers and, and for clarifying. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that's Marie Leibrandt.